Do not grieve when I am gone From out this world not turning To peaceful days in that world beyond For which my soul is yearning It's true I'll miss the sun and rain That fell softly upon my face But glad I'll be to leave behind the pain Which my body did not escape John was born in 1960 And he was the eldest He was mum and dad's first child he was diagnosed as a, like a bad chest and then asthmatic and then, which now is known as COPD. When he was 26, he was about six stone and of course, you know, he's no oxygen, very little oxygen go through his body. We went to the hospital, but he had died uh, at 11 o'clock that morning. I would have 30% lung function at the minute. It seems to be going quicker. And you know every time you get an infection, you've lost a bit more lung capacity. Like you're walking, doing your housework, your social life. Uh, there's no aspect it doesn't affect. It affects every aspect of your life. It's a very terrifying thing just to know that you just can't get a full breath. It's like a slow cancer. It just eats and eats and eats till eventually the only thing would be a, a lung transplant. Anne has alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Uh, this is a, a relatively common condition in Ireland. The normal alpha-1 gene produces a protein called the M-protein, and that's the normal situation. You produce normal levels of alpha-1 in the liver, and it's secreted into the bloodstream, and goes into the lung and protects the lung. Classically, alpha-1 deficiency causes severe early-onset emphysema. And this means that there's destruction of the tissue in the lung and makes it very difficult for a patient to get oxygen from there across into the bloodstream. Ireland is quite unique in some ways in that we have a significantly high proportion of our population with genetic lung diseases. In addition to that, we have up until relatively recently quite a high proportion of smokers. One in every 10 transplants in Ireland are alpha-1 patients. So we think that it's a condition that's often misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed. One in 25 people in Ireland would carry an alpha-1 gene, but to get the full-blown version of alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, you have to inherit the bad gene from both parents. The normal individual has the MM form, produces alpha-1 normally, protects his lung, and his liver is okay. So the severe deficiency is the ZZ form, significantly increased risk for emphysema and liver disease and a skin disease called paniculitis. And then you have these other variants, the SC form, which has an increased risk for lung disease if you smoke and an increased risk for liver disease, but not as severe as the ZZ risk. And finally, you have the MZ group who have a significantly increased risk for lung disease if they smoke, but we're not too sure about their liver risk. So there are approximately 3,000 Irish people with the ZZ form. There's approximately 10 to 12,000 with the SC form and about 170,000 with the MZ form. The professor who operated my lung said, Anne, if you don't stop smoking, you have five years to live. And I had a 13-year-old child and an 11-year-old child at that stage. That was my option, to leave my children very young or to stop. For many years, I've been very breathless on walking. Went up, going up a hill, I would have found very difficult. Lifting stuff, carrying stuff, uh, mopping floors, going upstairs. The, the, the worst part of your day is getting out of your bed, and that's if you've slept at night. As John once described it, it's like living with a pillow over your face. That's about the best description. You know you're taking a breath, but you know it's stopping. That is your lifeline. In Ireland, we have the only national targeted detection program in the world. And what that means is rather than testing everyone for alpha-1 yeah. deficiency, we will test specific targeted groups. It's the simple blood test, either a, a blood venous straw, as we call it, where we take blood through a cannula, or a simple needle prick in the finger. We are in the process of developing new treatments for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And we have uh, done some of the, the major work in looking at what we call augmentation therapy. And that means alpha-1 
can be purified from the blood of so-called normal MM individuals and given by intravenous infusion to individuals with the ZZ form. And so if we can diagnose ZZ individuals early, follow them up, institute therapies appropriately and early before significant damage is done, we believe we can help people live a normal life, a productive life, and also prevent the need for lung transplantation in this group. It's been very beneficial in our family because you, you can tell everyone you need to get tested, where it's so simple just to go get the blood test. You know, ignorance is not bliss. You're better known and you're better understanding it and you're better dealing with it head on. You can have a lot of good years. Uh, you might not have great quantity of life, quality of life, but you could have a lot of, you could spend a lot more time with your children and your family. Do you know, I'm a young woman. There's a lot for me to see, a lot for me to experience. My children are in their 20s. I would love to be here when they're in their 30s. Maybe see a grandchild. To stay around, to even be there for them. That is the motivation. Where the sun sinks slowly down to bathe the valley in its yellow light. Birds winging home in its setting. In the cool of approaching night.